Chris Bounce here with Texas Audio Properties. This is day 11 of our Sugarland flip in the Highland subdivision. I'm in the backyard um, now in this video. We put out a lot more sod on this side, more dirt. Looks, uh, if you remember from the other videos, this was just all all dead, all, all dirt. So we put more sod. We got um, guys out working on the sprinkler system. They should be finishing that by this weekend. But uh, and then when they're done, we're going to have a little bit more sod put in to fill in this area. But backyard looks a lot better. That cable on the tree, of course, we're going to cut cut down, and we're going to cut that cable over here. And we'll just th th there's really no use in having these loose cables if it doesn't go somewhere. Uh, we just cut it, and so we'll just cut it right there, and. Whoever buys it, they can have their cable company install a new cable, which they'll end up doing anyway. So, uh, this is a pump for the sprinkler system and just was in bad shape, so had to get it replaced. It's looking a lot better. Um, going in the inside, we've got a lot done. Let's actually get the ceiling fan up here. Do you remember we had the granite installed? Appliances picked up a good deal on a scratching dent. Um, whenever it's an insert like this, scratching dents work great because they're new, so come with manufacturer's warranty. And the scratches are usually, or, or the dent, it, whatever defect, it's usually on the side. Um, and I mean, the, from either from shipping or just on display, wherever it was. So. They, they work great for inserts. And then we ended up getting a good deal on this dishwasher and the microwave at Best Buy. Uh, they had some on clearance. So those are brand new and they should go in tomorrow. We just, we just dropped those off today. In the garage, they did a lot of floating and taping in here and then they'll, they'll paint all white. You can see all the all the tape, and you can see all that trash is gone. And this, this, they've got a little bit more since then, but uh, it, it looks a lot better than it did. All right, going into master bath. The glass doors were installed yesterday. And I can't remember if the tub surround was uh, finished yesterday when I did the video, but it definitely looks a lot better. Looks a lot better than that, that white tile. And here's our nice stainless. Shower door with the mosaic floor in. And this will look a lot better when we have our cleaners come in and scrub the scrub the shower walls, but it looks great. It looks great. And I'll show you what the front of the guest bed looks like. The guest bathroom, rather. Looks good. We had our AC guy come in and uh, test out the AC yesterday, do some uh, just basic tune up, which we always have uh, if, if we're not replacing it. Um, this is that little spot, that white spot, and it doesn't look like it's coming up. We'll, um, I'll check with my contractor, but I'm really hoping he can get that up. Mirrors ready to get installed. And then there's this. Um, this actually happened today. There was a minor leak in the pipe up in the attic. 
which ran down the wall and of course got the sheetrock all wet. So only solution there, take it out, fix the pipe. There was a, a we just went ahead and uh, I told him to go ahead and fix the, the length of that pipe, which was several sections, just to make sure that uh, we don't have that issue happen again for us or, or the future buyers. So um, these kind of things happen, unfortunately, especially when you're dealing with old, older homes that have galvanized pipe. Sometimes they bust, especially when you're doing other plumbing work and you just got to build it in your budget and hopefully it's not too costly. Um, but just know to expect it. That's what we got. Now the current schedule is the concrete, this is Thursday, the concrete guy, he's going to be on Monday to replace three sections of the front uh, of the driveway. We have a garage door opener guy coming out tomorrow and once the concrete's done we'll have our landscaper come back out, do a final, final mow and trim and put the mulch out and our cleaner is scheduled for next week, next Thursday and by that time of course all this interior stuff will, will be all wrapped up it, it, it even still out in the living room you can tell it, it looks messy but like i was mentioning before it's normal to look like that to look messy right before they're they're wrapping up but they are they are really almost done um and then we'll get this thing on the market and get it sold quickly <laughs>